Now one of the things to keep in mind when creating a context menu is that it needs to run in the background and not when we click on the pop-up HTML in the toolbar. And we need the context menu to appear only when we select some number on the web page. Therefore what we need is an event page and not a background page. So let's see how to create a context menu. Now to let the extension know that we are using an event page, we first need to specify that in the manifest file. So over here, below options, I'm going to say background. And this is going to be an object. We're going to have a property called scripts and this is going to, for now, be an array that contains a single script and that is going to be eventpage.js. And the second property is persistent. And this basically indicates whether we are specifying a background page or an event page. If persistent is false, then it's an event page. Now, the last thing to do in the manifest file is to request for permissions for the context menu. So over here, context menu. So now we can go ahead and create this event page.js. So new file, event page.js. All right, now we are going to first create a context menu item. So this is going to be an object, context menu item. Now we need to specify an ID. So this is going to be, let's say, spend money. And then we are also going to have to specify a title. And this is basically what appears when we right click on the web page. So let's call this spend money as well. So, but this time with capital, uh, with uppercase S, spend money. And then finally, we specify the context where this is supposed to appear. For now, we are going to have to make this appear only when the user selects something on the web page. So the context is selection. You can also have different contexts, like when there is a click on an image or there is a video and for more of this context, I would recommend you to go through the Chrome developer web page. All right, now that we have this object, we can use a method chrome.contextmenu, menus.create, and we specify this object. So let me just copy this and paste it. So now let's save this, save the manifest. Let's reload our extension because we changed the manifest. So reload and trying to install permission context menu is not known. Okay, context menus. Let's save this and reload this. And now let's go over here and let me select an integer value. So let's say 28. And when I right click, I get this pend money context menu. So you see this, this was not there before. So of course this doesn't do anything right now, but what we ideally want that what we ideally want is when we click on spend money, this 28 needs to be updated with this total spend. So let's do that in the next video.